the software would be downloaded as a zip file unzip it and save it as and save it somewhere this is the unzipped folder open it find for the setup application in this unzipped file there would be an installation wizard click on next as i have already installed IBM's SPSS it is asking me to repair or remove it so I'm going to cancel it after you have installed the SPSS software you would find its logo somewhat like this click on this This is the dashboard of the SPSS software. So if, if you want to start a new project, click on create a new stream and then click on OK. I would, I would run through this software so that you can, I would run through this software so that you can know what are the features present in the software and what you can do with this software you would have a favorite section I have already used this so these got added to my favorite section in the sources you can select any type of file you want to upload and select it if you double click on any item it would appear on your screen And these field operations are to are to clean your data so you can partition them you can fill fill any gaps it has you can change the types or you can filter the data the record operations are to either merge two data streams or merge two data uh, merge two files which has the data or you can also append you can sort the data you can select a sample from the data or you can also just select some data from the uh, data file that you have uploaded the graph section will provide you options to visualize the output in a graph model the modeling will give you various algorithms that are present in the SPSS software to analyze your data the output section will give you various options to represent the output that a model will give you this export section can be used to upload your output data into an analytical server or a Cognos report or any database of your choice these are advanced SPSS statistic models and these are the models that are developed in Python. If you want to create a new project, you can click on File and click on New Stream. Or if you want to open an existing stream, you can click on Open Stream. This is a high level overview of this software. And let us meet in the next video.